We're in the Virginia This Morning Kitchen with Shane Rogers. She's going to walk us through the steps on creating her Apple Brown Betty dessert. It is going to be delicious. We welcome her back to the Virginia This Morning Kitchen. It's great to see you. Thank you. Yeah. This is a seriously old school dessert, totally up your alley, yep. developed around the time of the Civil War. Oh. And it's we're using very simple stuff that you could have in your kitchen when you think you don't have anything to make dessert, but you really have a bowl of fruit on the counter and some old bread. Okay. Um, this bread looks a little hearty. Well, if you think about it, it was developed in the 1860s, so bread was not wonder they yet. They just told me my microphone is off, oh. so I just have so to you talk, have to talk to, to me. you. <laughs> Guess what? Oh, oh That's there right. you go. They're not here oh. to listen to me anyway. anyway. Okay. So it was developed back then, so bread would have been a little heartier. This is a lovely kind of whole wheat walnut bread from Lidl. I found this the other day. It's beautiful. That's what the whole loaf looks like. Um, walnut bread. Walnut bread, so right? So it is hearty. It is yeah. hearty. And see, I would normally put walnuts or something in this but it's really simple this is one of those things you can make when you're you know it's a Wednesday night and you decide you need something sweet mm -hmm. and you're like or you know somebody pops over or it's a Monday Tuesday Thursday or, or Friday right? and you need something sweet <laughs> that happens so, too yeah, right, totally <laughs> agree um, so we're gonna get about four cups of breadcrumbs chop it up if it's day old even better if you can do this the day before if you're thinking ahead Go ahead and do that because if it dries out, it's just going to soak up the apple-y goodness even better. Yum. So this is one of our main ingredients. There's only a few handful of ingredients, like five ingredients total. It looks pretty simple. I mean, it I kept is. waiting for something else to come out from underneath. And this no, this is really it. This is it. So the other thing we're going to do and we're going to prep is we're going to prep some apples. Okay. And, and you're using Granny Smith? These are actually... Uh, golden Delicious. I like to bake with Golden Delicious. I think that they bake really well. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit tart. I'm confused, um, and folks watching at home, I think, are with me on this. They look green like Granny Smith. Well, they're Golden Delicious. But they're Golden <laughs> Delicious. Okay. <laughs> Note to sell. You could totally use Granny Smith if that, and that's the thing. Like, don't think about, oh my gosh, I don't have Golden Delicious apples. The thing is, I don't, I wouldn't keep these in my kitchen. I don't like to eat them out of hand. But I do like to bake with them. I don't know, it was just a fluke. One year I was making an apple tart and all I had was Golden Delicious for some reason. And it was so sweet and delicious with just a little bit of a tang on the back end that I kind of, that's my go-to apple when I bake now. They do all behave differently, so they it do. is. They do. But if you had Gala, that would be delicious and it would bring a little more juice to the party. Certainly some sweetness. Always nice in a cabla. Yes, absolutely. Have a little juice. And so, yeah. Just so you're being pretty consistent with your with your chopping here. They're all pretty uniform in mm -hmm. size. Yep, and they're not sliced and they're not peeled. So get yourself some organic apples so that you can eat the peel and not worry about, you know, any kind of pesticides or anything. And that's nice too, a little extra fiber yes. in there. And it kind of keeps the dessert a little, it gives it a little more structure, keeps it hold, holds it together a can little you, better. Can you tell I'm trying to justify having dessert Monday <laughs> through Friday and on the weekends? Well, with this, <laughs> I mean, fiber. think about it. It's whole wheat bread. There's going to be some sugar and a little bit of... Um, butter but you know what it's gonna be all right we give that a little spritz with the pan please yes mm -hmm. so we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees okay we're gonna take we're gonna layer this up and um you said little I, <laughs> I went a little haywire how's that that's totally fine excellent that's totally fine so the main ingredients are brown sugar apples and bread and we're gonna layer them up and we're gonna do two layers of each so okay. we're gonna start with a third of a cup of brown sugar. And to, to ration it um, better, I separated them because I, I can't eyeball a third of a cup of brown sugar. Well, and I always try to squeeze the bag, you know, it's yes. like, and then next thing you know, half of it rolls out and you're like, yeah. oops, well. It's kinda, yeah, and a little bit too much brown sugar is not the worst thing in the world, but anyway. So we're gonna layer that in the bottom first. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take, I can kind of eyeball half of the apples. You just put them right in. And kind of press them down in the sugar. Mm, be still my heart. Right? Doesn't it look I do and love this is I it. do love a good apple dessert. Half of the bread. Half the bread. And then we you wanna you wanna grab the brown sugar for the sure. next bit? Okay. And just kind of spread that liberally. I can just over do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oops. It doesn't matter, it's all gonna come together in the end. This is true. Yeah. It's like a stress free recipe. It is, okay. right? You could do this. We're gonna do the rest of the apples. Mm. So there's no, I mean, there's no egg or anything. No. This is just, 
and then we're going to spread this around on the top. I do have all these things at home you on do. a weeknight. You You totally Maybe do. not your fancy bread, but well, I do. Well, no, but if you have some other bread, use it. I had, I planned this. Do you have to smush this? You have to, I think you should press it down. And the other thing, too, is press it down a little bit when it gets done. Okay. So we're going to sprinkle the top with a little bit of cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Because I, and honestly, this wasn't in the original recipe, but I can't put apples in the oven with no cinnamon. With no cinnamon. And then we're just going to top it with some butter. And you're going to be liberal for this for this size. We're going to use about half of the stick of butter, and the butter is going to melt down in. It's going to make the bread crispy. Um, it's going to make a syrupy thing with the sugar and the and the apples. Well, I think this is going to make folks think you know fancy pants. Like this is way right. bigger, tougher than you could use the whole stick. To, uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Probably about half. No judgments. Half really. No judgments Look here. The butter tins. <laughs> Anyway, um, pop it in the oven for uh, about 40 minutes covered with foil. Okay, so foil now. Foil and now. Then put it and in. Then, and then let it crisp up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get one out of the magic oven. Okay, I love it. This oven creates just all sorts of delicious options. Right? Excellent. Doesn't that look good? It looks like a, it looks like a casserole. Right? Look at those. Breadcrumbs. They're all nice Not and bread crispy brown. Bread, bread, bread cubes. cubes. Nice customized pan there, Shane. You like delicious. That? I do like that. That's courtesy of my sister-in-law. She loves me. Um, yeah, let's go in. Let's do it. Now you can see, look at how the apples on the top kind of uh, almost like, they look a little freeze-dried-ish. Yeah, they're a little dried right? out. They're a little going to be crispy on the edges. Mm -hmm. Silent. It's, it's, I almost feel like we need a drum roll. It's like silence. And if you and can see down in there, there is some brown syrup, yes. brown sugar syrupy goodness going on. Awesome. And so then uh, our producer, Tori, uh, would then amp this up with some haagen It's I, only yes. haagen vanilla no, no, ice cream. No, the haagen vanilla would be delicious with this. I love it. Shane, thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll have this recipe later today on WTBR.com slash VTM. A sweet one to kickstart the weekend and the fall. Mm -hmm. Cheers.